Anna Chrisman is joining us from the Michigan Humane Society. Back in action. Tell us more <laughs> about what's going on. But before we get to our topic this week, let's talk about James. Oh yes, I will happily talk about James. <laughs> <laughs> so this cutie pie here is a five month old hound mix currently looking for his forever family. Uh, we're anticipating his adult size somewhere between 40 and 50 pounds and he is just a love bug, loves to play with toys. Show, show the to folks snow. at home what happens when you give uh, James oh, a scratch. Okay, he'll do it. He has a little spot right here. Oh, 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 oh there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, no, you guys can't hear it, but the, like the foot is going a million miles an hour right now. <laughs> February is National Pet Dental Health Month. What should we know when it comes to pets and their dental health? Because our year and a half old, almost two year old puppy, Charlie, she, you know, sometimes you're like, whoo, Charlie, have a breath mint. So, well, that's the funny thing is what a lot of people don't realize is puppies like James and like Charlie need their teeth cleaned just almost as much as people do. Um, okay. So February is Pet Dental Health Month. And the reason there's a specific month for it is um, for the facts that you're seeing right now, 80% of dogs and cats over three years old are going to experience some form of dental disease, which can lead to more serious conditions, including heart disease in the same way it can cause problems in people. Um, we do recommend annual dental cleanings and exams. So every time that you're in with your vet, um, you should be getting their teeth checked out and they do actually recommend that cleaning once a year. Um, if it's left untreated, I know from personal experience, it's very expensive to have a full cleaning and extractions. I had a dog who had to have seven teeth removed because his teeth were so bad. And it's, oh my goodness. You know, it's, it's really detrimental to their life in the same way that poor teeth and poor dental health can affect a person's life. You know, I'll say that uh, James is a pretty chill dog. Seems like it has a, he has a good temperament. Oh yeah, absolutely. So James actually would do awesome. Um, you can see some of the products we've brought with us. So James actually is the perfect candidate for the toothbrush. <laughs> this is something that we provide at our vet centers to our clients. Um, and we, it's, it is recommended that you brush your teeth pretty regularly. There's also a couple other products on the table that we can utilize um, to increase pet dental health and help maintain good oral hygiene. And all of them are available through our veterinary center. So all you have to do is give us a call and we'd be happy to make you an appointment to get them checked out. And that number to call 248-283-1000, 248-283-1000. All right, James, you look like you're a winner. I think that somebody's gonna uh, take if, you home. If he doesn't go home with me. <laughs> oh, you might take him home? We'll see. <laughs> oh, I'm a, all right. I'm a sucker for a hound. It's very well known. <laughs> So, <laughs> anyway, I've already claimed this dog, but there are others <laughs> to adopt at the Humane Society. Absolutely. All right, last week's pet of the week was quickly adopted. You might remember Mr. Bellamy Blake, who has a new loving forever home. That cat had a personality and a look. It's kind of, it was a, uh, kind of like a wild cat look, like a <laughs> lynx. All right, now, thanks so much. Good to see you. Thank you, guys. Good luck, James.